Okay, I'll make you staff. Six. Yes, Chief of Staff, you yeah. recall that last week, about this time, we had the um, first um, Defense Headquarters Median Edition of the Women, Peace and Security Conference. Yes, um, and so I think it is now a wake-up call for our women to actually be ready to any task and to be deployed for any task. But um, recently, I've been getting reports about some unscrupulous elements within our area of responsibility and um, I think it is not good enough and so in um, the next few days I'm giving you marching orders so that uh, you get to the commanding officer of the battalion to ensure that um, those hoodlums and unscrupulous elements are taken out. Yes sir. I immediate action that's what I want to see. Yes sir. All right thank you. Yes sir. Okay. Thank you. All right. Gentlemen, I'm just from the commander's office this morning and there's a, a hint report that there are bandits and hoodlums occupying some buildings in Giri. And you know this is our general area of responsibility. We are here to protect the integrity of our nation. Lieutenant Jimo, you are the Alpha Commander Alpha Company Commander. Lieutenant Musa, you are the Bravo Company Commander. I want to, in a few minutes, to get your people, the men ready, and then flush out those bandits from this AOR. Is that clear? Yes. Sir. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Carry on. Please do. The creation of the Nigerian Army Women Corps in March 2018 by the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Yusuf Budatai, as part of his strategy to solving some of the security challenges confronting the country Nigeria and to reposition the Nigerian Army for better service delivery is paying off as the Corps continues to break more grounds in securing the country under the mandate given to it. The 1st Special Women Operation Battalion, a tactical unit of the Corps, with his motor, believing yourself, what a man can do, a woman can do better, has always stood shoulder to shoulder with its male counterparts. These soldiers go all out, making sure every assigned task is accomplished to the latter with minimal or no casualty recorded. Preparation is key to the success of any mission. The leader of the tactical team makes sure the directive is well understood by her team, ensuring that no lapses or error is entertained and that all team members must be on the same page to ensure 100% success of the assigned task. Gentlemen, good luck and get practice. Speak up! Ma, at the end of the orders, 
may have your permission to see them easy, ma. Smartly. Gentlemen, Mora! 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 The psychological composition of these women sometimes tend to deceive the enemy, mainly because the society sees the women as weaker vessels, not strong enough to match up with the men, as was the case in the just-concluded 2019 general elections, where hoodlums thought they would overpower them, but did not know a great surprise awaits them. The women soldiers displayed what they know best by quickly neutralizing the threat, bringing the men to their knees. Morning, gentlemen. Why is up? Morning, gentlemen. Why is up? 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 I said just twice. What's up? I'm just coming from the platoon commander's orders. And we've been given a mission to carry out. I hope you are ready for the task. Yes, sir! Are we ready? Yes, sir! they say speaks louder than voice the operational competence of these soldiers is second to none as they have been trained for months to ensure all enemies are subdued at all costs the skills and accuracy with which they carry out assigned task leaves one with no doubt of their ability to win and subdue enemies who are hell-bent on wreaking havoc in the society Gentlemen, back to your position. What are some of the other roles of the Nigerian Army Women Corps aside tactical duties? I am trying on my team to kind of reposition them for everybody to see that they can do. If you are going on the highways now, you now see women as part of the roadblock and checkpoints with the soldiers. Heated to it was not there. It was like all a male affair. But like I said, the Army Able Chief of Army staff we have said, no, 
You cannot have such kind of women. I would not give you an opportunity. So I always tell people that the way the narrative has changed now. The protection of very important personalities on duty is also a key area where the women soldiers function efficiently and effectively, ensuring that no threat comes close to their principles, be it male or female. This creation of the Chief of Army staff, Lieutenant General T.Y. Budatai, is giving the women in the Nigerian Army a sense of belonging, making them at par with their counterparts in developed nations, which is the roadmap to achieving the vision of the Chief of Army Staff. We are still within the short term of our program. And I know that um, the second phase of the program is from January 2020 to December 2024. At this time, I'm sure the second battalion will have come on board. And when this battalion comes on board, there are other units that will come with it, all going to be female, um, all going to be female officers and soldiers. And we shouldn't forget again that the Nigerian Defense Academy is now bringing out female combatant regular officers. And this women corps is also a platform for them because if they had come out and there was no women corps, then they'll be competing with the men folk. But now there's a women corps, so those combatant female officers will now have the opportunity to aspire to the peak of their career. So in the no distant future, we will see female officers uh, being commanding officers, brigade commanders, general officers commanded, as the case may be. These things are not new. In uh, the advanced armies, we already have them.